In the quiet street of Washington, D.C., a sniper's deadly game unfolded. Huge fear and chaos. Brace yourself for a gripping journey into one of America's most notorious crime sprees. Welcome back to our channel. Don't let the chilling story of the D.C. sniper fade into history. Join us on this captivating journey as we unravel the mysteries and delve into the mind of a killer. If you are fascinated by the dark side of human nature and crave an adrenaline rush, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Get ready to experience the crime tale of the DC Sniper like never before. In this video, we'll cover the top facts you probably did not know before. To truly understand the DC Sniper case, we must delve into its history. It was October 2002 when the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area became the hunting ground for a pair of cold-blooded killers. Over a span of three weeks, the region was gripped by fear as innocent people fell victim to a series of sniper shootings. During this dark period, everyday locations like gas stations, parking lots, and even schools became scenes of terror. The randomness of the attacks left the community paralyzed with fear. Unsure of when or where the next shot would ring out, the sniper shootings were not only a crime spree, they were an act of psychological warfare on the entire region. As the body count rose, law enforcement agencies found themselves faced with a daunting task. The elusive snipers seemed to leave no clear pattern or motive behind their attacks, making it difficult for investigators to identify the culprits. Panic and uncertainty spread like wildfire as the public anxiously awaited answers and a break in the case. But during the fear and chaos, a ray of hope emerged. On October 24, 2002, a witness reported seeing a dark blue Chevrolet Caprice leaving the scene of a shooting. This valuable piece of information would prove instrumental in cracking the case and bringing the reign of terror to an end. The hunt intensified as law enforcement agencies collaborated pooling their resources and expertise. The FBI, local police departments, and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, ATF, worked together tirelessly, sifting through evidence and analyzing every lead. Finally, on October 24, 2002, the sniper's luck ran out. John Allen Muhammad, a Gulf War veteran, and his accomplice, Lee Boyd Malvo, a teenager under Muhammad's influence, were apprehended at a rest stop in Maryland. Their capture brought a sense of relief to the community, but it also raised numerous questions about their motives and the factors that drove them to commit such heinous acts. The trial that followed provided a glimpse into the minds of the killers and shed light on the devastating impact their actions had on the victims' families and the entire region. John Allen Muhammad was convicted on multiple counts of murder and sentenced to death, while Lee Boyd Malvo, being a minor at the time, received life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. The DC sniper case not only left scars on the community, but also prompted significant changes in law enforcement strategies. It highlighted the need for improved coordination and communication between agencies to respond swiftly and effectively in similar situations in the future. The DC sniper case remains etched in the annals of American crime, a stark reminder of the darkness that can lurk within society. As we delve deeper into the riveting story, we hope to shed light on the events that unfolded during those harrowing weeks and the lasting impact they had on the nation's capital. Now, let's move towards the top facts you probably didn't know before. Fact 1. Copycat Motive Did you know that the chilling inspiration behind the DC sniper attacks can be traced back to a movie? Yes, that's right. John Allen Muhammad, the mastermind behind the shootings, was reportedly influenced by the 2002 thriller film Phone Booth. And it seems Muhammad saw this as a twisted blueprint for his own reign of terror. Imagine the unsettling realization that a real-life tragedy was born from the twisted imagination of a movie. The blurred lines between fiction and reality deepened the disturbing nature of the DC sniper case. It serves as a stark reminder of the power that movies and media can have on vulnerable minds, pushing them to commit heinous acts. 
This unsettling fact raises questions about the influence of entertainment on individuals and the potential consequences, when that influence is distorted in the hands of someone with sinister intentions. Fact 2. Initial Theory – White Box Truck in the early stages of the investigation, law enforcement agencies were pursuing a theory that the sniper was using a white box truck as a getaway vehicle. This theory caused widespread panic, with people on high alert whenever they saw a similar truck. However, the investigation took a different turn when the snipers were ultimately captured in a dark blue Chevrolet Caprice. Fact 3. Personal Vendetta? In the shadows of the DC Sniper case lies a lesser-known truth that adds a chilling layer to the story. It appears that John Allen Muhammad, the man behind the terror, harbored a personal vendetta against the United States itself. As investigators dug deeper into his past, a disturbing pattern emerged. Muhammad had a history of legal disputes and grievances, with allegations of domestic violence haunting his record. Picture the enigma of a man driven by a simmering rage, seeking retribution for perceived wrongs. The DC sniper attacks became more than a series of random shootings. They become a twisted manifestation of one man's thirst for revenge. It raises haunting questions about the depths of human resentment and the potential consequences when it spirals out of control. The DC Sniper case serves as a chilling reminder that beneath the surface of seemingly ordinary individuals, there can lurk a profound darkness, ready to be unleashed upon an unsuspecting world. Fact 4. Sniper Hideouts Get ready for a heart-pounding journey into the world of stealth and cunning as we unravel the tactics of these formidable snipers. These elusive marksmen went to great lengths to outsmart their pursuers utilizing an array of covered hideouts. Their first ingenious ploy involved transforming the trunk of their car into a secret sniper's nest, blending seamlessly with the vehicle's facade. But that was just the beginning. The sniper's bag of tricks extended to nature's own domain, as they skillfully vanished into the dense cover of wooded areas, becoming one with the environment. And if that wasn't enough, they fearlessly turned busy parking lots into their personal playgrounds, executing lightning-fast strikes that left no trace behind. With their uncanny ability to strike swiftly and fade into the shadows, these snipers had everyone on edge, engaged in a thrilling battle of wits and survival. Fact 5. Psychological Manipulation Lee Boyd Malvo, the younger accomplice, was heavily manipulated by John Allen Muhammad. Muhammad took advantage of Malvo's vulnerability and impressionable nature, shaping him into an obedient partner in crime. This aspect of psychological manipulation adds another layer of complexity to the case. Fact 6. Motive and Psychological Impact While the exact motive behind the DC sniper attacks remains somewhat elusive, it is believed that John Allen Muhammad intended to create widespread fear and chaos by targeting innocent civilians at random. He sought to paralyze the community and make people feel unsafe even in familiar surroundings. Fact 7. Failed Attempt in Louisiana Before carrying out the DC sniper attacks, John Allen Muhammad and Lee Boyd Malvo attempted a similar shooting spree in Baton Rouge. Louisiana. Their plan was foiled when a resident discovered their sniper's nest and alerted the police. This failed attempt foreshadowed the terror that would later unfold in the nation's capital. Fact 8. Caliber of Choice The snipers primarily used a Bushmaster XM-15 semi-automatic rifle during the attacks. This high-powered weapon allowed them to fire multiple rounds quickly and with devastating accuracy. The choice of firearm added to the lethal nature of their crimes and increased the difficulty for law enforcement to apprehend them. Fact 9. Targeting School Buses The DC snipers considered targeting school buses as part of their heinous plan. They intended to shoot children as they disembarked from the buses, heightening the already immense fear in the community. Fortunately, this aspect of their scheme was not carried out, sparing innocent lives. Fact 10. Impact on Law Enforcement Tactics 
The DC sniper attacks had a profound impact on law enforcement tactics and procedures. The case highlighted the need for improved coordination and communication among agencies during multi-jurisdictional investigations. It led to the development of protocols and training to ensure a more effective response to future incidents of this nature. Alright guys, let's sum up today's video. No doubt that the DC Sniper case stands as a chilling reminder of the darkness that can lurk within society. The sniper attacks unleashed fear and chaos in the quiet streets of Washington, DC, leaving the community paralyzed and uncertain. Law enforcement agencies faced a daunting task, as the snipers seemed to have no clear pattern or motive behind their attacks. The subsequent trial provided insight into the minds of the killer and the devastating impact on the victims' families and the region. The top facts revealed intriguing aspects of the case, from the chilling influence of a movie as a copycat motive to the sniper's stealthy tactics and psychological manipulation. It also shed light on the profound darkness that can reside within individuals and the potential consequences when resentment spirals out of control. Ultimately, the DC sniper case remains etched in the annals of American crime, serving as a stark reminder of the lasting impact it had on the nation's capital. Alright guys, that's all for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. What do you think motivated John Allen Muhammad to carry out the DC sniper attacks? Were you surprised by any of the lesser known facts revealed in this video about the DC sniper case? Let us know in the comments section. Please subscribe to the channel and enable alerts to be notified of new uploads. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.